Today I'm going to show you how to make this 5-in-1 lens kit turn your iPhone into a super iPhone. Coming up. If you haven't been here before, I'm Serke, the only YouTuber that I ever made the queen. So go ahead right now and hit the thumbs up button and subscribe and turn on the notification button so you get notified each time I upload a video. So without further ado, let's get into the unboxing. It came in this cute little box. You get a microfiber towel and you have this nice little bag. And then you have this kind of clip. That's exactly what the um, lenses clips into, right? They clip right, they screw right into this clip and then this goes over your phone. You have like a little instruction manual not gonna be reading that right now. So now let's just jump into the box itself. So the box contains, of course, the five lenses. Uh, the first one's the telephoto lens. Then you have the 110 wide angle lens. It's, they'll have this little nice silicone uh, carrying pocket, if you ask me, right? And it's like that, right? You see the telephoto? That's exactly what it looks like. Alright, like thick and heavy, feels expensive then, than it actually is. That's the macro, and that's exactly what the macro looks like. And the 110 wide angle looks exactly like that. And that's the fisheye lens. That's exactly what it looks like. Nice kit. And the last one, that's the 170 wide angle. Looks exactly like that. It looks pretty premium for a $30 lens, if you ask me. And that's the package, right? And of course, I asked the seller and it, they provided me with CPL filter right there. And the second thing, I was uh, given was uh, this ND filter right here is a must have if you're gonna be shooting action object in and moving object cars, you know, dogs, or bicycles, or you're gonna be skating. If you're gonna be doing stuff that actually involves a lot of movement, then then the ND filter is a must have. Why? Because it reduces staccato and just smoothing things up to give you that nice uh, uh, motion blur. And to attach the actual lens, all you have to do is just take this right here. This goes over your phone lens like so. Make sure you send it. And then you could just take a 110 wide angle, for instance. And just screw it on. That Boom. It's pretty sturdy. It's not going anywhere anytime soon. Look at that. So which lens goes first? Hmm. In no mini mini mo, catch your tiger by the toe. If you holler, let him go. In the mini mini mo, the oracle chose you. When you're shooting images in motion, you tend to get that stuttery staccato effect, so to speak. But that can be completely eliminated when you attach the ND filter. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. See how much you can squeeze into a frame when you have the 170 degree wide angle lens attached. As a 300 meter yard, 
breathing, and I think it just fits inside the frame. That's easily with the 170 degree wide angle lens. All right, so without the wide angle lens attached, you can see to the second half of, actually the first half of the food park. And to the building here, you can see all the four buildings, except some building that says Novotel on the right. And soon as I put the 170 degree wide angle lens, now all of a sudden you can see more. And you can even get more shots of the 170 degree wide angle lens. Without any fish islands, you get this. And these are the kind of pictures you're gonna be getting, images you're gonna be getting when you have the fish eye lens attached. Yeah, but I believe we have everything in the frame right now. So that's exactly what you get, guys, with the fisheye lens, 195 degree fisheye lens. Mm. 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 Hope I'm still visible. Just 30 dollars and you could get the whole view like this. And now I'm gonna take it off and you immediately see how much of the beauty you can capture with just the native camera. All right? That's all you get. And now when I put it back on, and you get the fish islands back again in its majesty. So, just one more shot with the 195 degree fish islands. And this is exactly what it looks like when it's attached, and you can capture such magnificent shots right here. Exactly what you get if, uh, I don't know, if you pay $30 for a uh, five-in-one lens kit and you could do this much, I think uh, you guys should reconsider uh, buying super expensive, overpriced uh, lens kits from, you know, what brand I'm talking about. So, just to give you an idea of what it looks like without the lens on, I'm gonna take it off right now. And that's exactly what the building looks like without the lens on. And as soon as you put the lens back on, and boom, it's like magic. When I ran into this street, I was like, there's no way I'm gonna go back home without shooting it. This is exactly what you get without the uh, 110 wide angle lens attached and just the bare native app camera on your iPhone. This is what the street looks like. And soon as I attach the 110 wide angle lens. Now it's attached and this is what you get. Maybe not as wide as the 170 degree wide angle, but then it's okay for such mid-range or wide shot. And just to demonstrate what you get from the native app of the iPhone right here, this is exactly what you get. It's this wide, and I'm gonna demonstrate what exactly you get as soon as you attach the 110 wide angle lens. You see this much, right? You see the, uh, it's in Polish, you get something saying notarius right there, and then on the other side you get, oh, uh, black car and so that's attach this right now all right so now you get the little structure with the yellow with the orange stuff right there and then of course you get uh more signs to your right right a little bit more so i'll say the 110 wide angle is so uh, ideal if you're shooting um like i said in the last shot uh, something like a mid-wide uh, scene, something like that, something that requires you want to show a little bit more, but then not so much, like like something so uh, wildly wide, <laughs> right? Wow, <laughs> just all of a sudden you have a whole bunch of scientists appear from nowhere. So just demonstrating a little bit more of what the 110 wide angle lens has to offer. That's exactly what the view right behind me. I think we have some excited, <laughs> we have some excited oh, passes by. <laughs> I hope I caught that in the camera. Did I? Okay, I caught it. <laughs> You'll be YouTube famous. <laughs> All right.
to achieve the best bouquet effect, your best bet is to attach something like a telephoto lens, like I'm using right now. And just to kind of give you an idea of what exactly it looks like with the native camera app. I'm gonna unattach the telephoto lens, and this is exactly what you get. And I'm gonna put it back on. Yeah, just so you have yeah, an idea, like a basic idea of what it feels like to feel with a telephoto lens. And if anyone can guess what kind of lens I'm using right now, I hold you 500 bucks. And you can tell the pandemic is kind of coming to an end, so you know, you have more people just roaming around the street, not really having anything to do, just roaming around, finding one more reason to get out, right? So, you know, if you could guess what lens I have attached right now, I hold you 500 bucks, and I mean it. So that's it fellas, go ahead and hit the thumbs up button and subscribe if I haven't done so and turn on the notification so you get notified each time I upload a video. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one. It's a chill day, tomorrow we gonna be doing it.